Hey everybody, it's Megan. Uh, welcome to my dorm room. This is my side and this is my roommate's side. If you have not seen my move-in vlog, make sure to go check that out. Uh, I uploaded it just a couple days ago and it showed the process of, you know, putting together my dorm and a lot of fun stuff there. Anyways, today I'm doing an art supplies haul because yesterday I went to the art store to get all my stuff for my classes and it is quite the quite the hurl. I hope you guys enjoy this like nice lime green shirt I'm wearing today. I'm just really feeling it. Um, it's for my mom because my mom has the best clothes and that's where I shop. Uh, also I just look like a walking talking green screen so that's fun. Anyways, let's get on with this haul. So first let's start with the big stuff. Um, I got this big old Bristol pad for basically all my classes, design graphics, basic drawing, and 2D art foundation. So that's like three out of my five classes that I'm taking. I need this big old drawing pad. Um, probably gonna have to get another one of these because I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna use it a lot. Um, but yeah, this is fun. Really big drawing pad. And next, there's this huge little drawing board I got here with some nice clamps and a rubber band. Okay, so the next thing that I got is really going to wash up my face, so that's fun. Okay, so this is um, a matting board for, wow, I look like a ghost. That's, that's great. Um, <laughs> anyways, here's a matting board, super huge, black board, it's really thick. Yeah. Here's my portfolio carrier. I've already had this for a while. Um, but I just emptied out my high school art stuff and just like put it in a makeshift ratchet like cardboard and tape portfolio and just put it in the back of my closet because I'm making new art now so gotta archive the old stuff. Also keep in mind that I got the majority of my supplies but I'm still missing some stuff so that really says something about the supplies you need as an interior design student. You need a lot. Okay so I got this art supply tool box. I've actually had this for a while also. I got this for my birthday probably when I was, I don't know, like in middle school, late middle school, early high school, something like that. Um, but actually, it comes in handy for all the supplies you need for class. All right, so inside it, this is so interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna go through this fast because they're sort of small things I don't really wanna spend too much time on. We got a sticky notepad, glue sticks, erasers, paper cutter, aluminum foil, masking tape, double sticky tape, a utility knife, tape measure, an exacto knife, a ruler, and another ruler. And that's what's in my toolbox. Got some extra fine tip sharpies. And then I've got my pencil box. This is also something I've had for a while, um, but now I can actually put it to some use because I haven't really been using this. And inside I have a bunch of different types of pencils, sharpies, charcoal, charcoal pencils, um, a little blender stick, like a paper blender stick. A uh, kneaded eraser, a sharpener, an eraser, a little tiny ruler, another eraser, and another sharpener. Okay, so on my supplies list, it said black construction paper. So I legit just took like a stack of black construction paper that I had left at home, and that's that. So I found these two really good hard cover sketchbooks that were just laying around in my craft cabinet so I took those from home and I'm gonna use them for my classes because I need three sketchbooks for three of my classes all right now on to the exciting stuff this is all the stuff I got from the art store 24 inch ruler tracing paper for my design graphics class an architectural triangular ruler and I need an engineering one but they ran out unfortunately so I'm gonna have to go back Scotch Super 77 adhesive spray, my third sketchbook, a 90 degree triangle, a circle template, a rubber brayer, vine charcoal, another package of vine charcoal, but it's extra soft. This one's just soft. This is the most extra thing I saw on my supplies list. An electronic eraser. It's battery operated, so I'm gonna have to go get some batteries. 0.3 extra fine drafting pencil, my beautiful new set of micron pens, artist tape, an erasing shield. I don't really know how this works, but I'm excited to find out. 30% warm gray Prismacolor dual tip marker, and this marker is like so precise, and all the art students are coming to this specific art store to get this pen and like all these other supplies, so I was pretty lucky to find this. Um, there's this really nice employee actually that 
found this for me because they were out. Shout out to Jerry's Artorama, Ames Lettering Guide, a bunch of acrylic paint. They were actually out of white titanium, so I'm also gonna have to make a trip back to that art store because white paint is really important. And then in this little box are my charcoals and ebony pencil and extra lead for my drafting pencil. All right, I've got two more items left. So in this package are some beautiful pencils straight from Germany, made in Germany, so they're pretty fancy. So I've got these fancy round ones, um, size four and size zero. I've got the flat ones, size six and size four. And these are actually so expensive. Like one paintbrush was like $7 or something. Okay, so this is my last art supply that I got. Um, as you can tell, it's a nice tube for your art projects to put in and there's a nice strap you can strap to your back and be a, like a newsboy be like yeah but this one is like extra long i don't know if this is like okay or whatever but this is the only one they had i don't know why i'm doing this right now but this is really fun all right you guys so that concludes my art supplies haul i hope you guys enjoyed i'm really excited to do more college videos and keep you guys updated on my collegiate journey <laughs> But yeah, first week of class has just ended, and my second week is just around the corner. Um, I have a super long Labor Day weekend, so I'm going to get a head start on my projects that are like already assigned and everything, and you know, start reading those textbooks. But yeah, I hope you guys have a restful Labor Day weekend, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!